And this is on the pipe project. These are the pots, you know, because of all the rain, they had a lot of delays at the rain lane. We had a flooding again where it got up all around uh, the construction site. So what they did is they started work. They were already working at the treatment plant site. So they started the pipeline in several different locations where it was dry enough to get in there and work and, and do that. So effectively, they're working from the plant back in. This is one jack and bore under, I think that's James Road. Yeah. And then they've got another jack and bore under St. Augustine. They still got the one under Norman, and they've got the one under 75. So. And Henry, another thing we did to accelerate the timeline was really break that bigger $36 million force main project into three projects yeah. of 10 to $12 million each where all the work can be going on at the same time, like the pump stations is a package that's over 10 million, the force main is a package of six mile long, 30, 42 okay. inch line, and then the EQ basin and the headworks are a package. Even though it's the same company. So it's the they same have. contract, but yeah. all three are going on. At the, we bid them separately or collectively, so someone, individuals could bid them, or someone could bid them all, or bid two out of three, it just ended up that Garney was the overall low Yeah, they, and then we got so, deep dust for each one when they combine bids right. on the three separate projects. But that was another good way to do it because it's not doing one thing and then going to the next one to the next. All three of those are underway at the same time. And again, we, we bid as three separate projects as a combined project. We were all going to entice local you know, contractors and stuff to give them an opportunity to bid because a $36 million project and you're going to get uh, bench bonds and bonds for that work is pretty expensive. 